Hello everyone, welcome to our special Techno channel. In the previous session, we examined the combining multiple operators in detail. In this session, we will explore the various filters available in Joe server styles with a particular focus on the SLD format extensively. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Filters in Joe server play a crucial role in defining what data is displayed on the map. They allow users to specify conditions that must be met for data to be included in the map display. By utilizing these filters in creating a SLD or a styled layer descriptor within Show Server, users can customize the visualization of their data based on a specific criteria. For example, users can create a filter that only displays data with a certain attribute value or create a filter that only displays data within a certain special area. This level of customization allows users to create visually compelling and informative maps that showcase their data in a meaningful way. Several types of filters can be used in Joe server styling, such as comparison operators, special operators, logical operators, and arithmetic operators. Comparison operators These operators give users the ability to filter data based on non-special attributes of a feature, specific value within a field, or set parameters for the particular range of values to refine the search results within a dataset. The comparison operators include binary comparison operators and value comparison operators. The binary comparison operators are properties equal to, properties not equal to, properties less than, properties less than or equal to, properties greater than, properties greater than or equal to. Now let's explore how to use different filters to create a custom SLD style for the top colon states layer in Joe server. To do it, navigate to the Styles page from the Data section, then click on the Add a New Style link. Enter Comparison Underline Less Than in the Name field. Select Polygon from the list of the default styles, then click the Generate link. Now I did the codes as shown on the screen. Press the validate button to check if you have misspelled anything. If there are no errors, press the apply button. Switch to the layer preview tab and click the layer name above the preview box and select top colon states layer. In this example, we have created a style for states with a population of less than 1 million. Press the Save button. Other available comparison operators known as the value comparison operator include properties like, properties null, and properties between. To use the properties like operator in a new style, follow these steps. Click on Add a new style link. Then enter comparison underline like in the name field. Select comparison underline less than from the existing styles. Then click on the copy link. To filter the states with new in their name, edit the codes displayed on the screen.
press the validate button to check if you have misspelled anything. If there are no errors, press the apply button. Switch to the layer preview tab and select top colon states layer from the layer name above the preview box. In this example, we see on the screen the states that have the word new in their name, such as New York, New Jersey, New Hampshire, and New Mexico. Press the save button. Special operators. These special operators enable users to filter data based on its special location. This can involve filtering data based on its proximity to a specific point within a certain area or boundary or in relation to other special features. Some common special operators include within, intersects, contains, b box, etc. Follow these steps to use the intersects filter in a new style. Click on add a new style link, then enter special underline intersects in the name field. Select comparison underline like from the existing styles, then click on the copy link. Now I did the codes as you see on the screen. Press the validate button to check if you have misspelled anything. If there are no errors, press the apply button. Switch to the layer preview tab and select top colon states layer. At this time, we can identify the states that intersects with the line string based on specified coordinates including Arizona, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. Press the save button. If you are enjoying the video, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, like the videos and share it with your friends. This will help you and others to improve your skills and benefit from these valuable resources. Thank you for your support. Logical operators. Logical operators in styling are used to set conditions for applying a specific style rule to a feature. They enable users to create complex rules for displaying features based on different attributes and conditions. The logical operators used in Joe Server styling are AND, OR, and NOT. AND. This operator requires both specified conditions to be true for the style rule to be applied to a feature. OR. This operator requires at least one of the specified conditions to be true for the style rule to be applied to a feature. NOT. This operator negates the specified conditions, meaning that the style rule will not be applied to features that don't meet the condition. Here is an example of how to use the AND operator to filter a SLD based on two conditions. Click on Add a new style link, then enter logical underline AND in the name field. Select the special underline intersects from the existing styles, then click the copy link. Now I did the codes as shown on the screen.
press the validate button to check if you have misspelled anything. If there are no errors, press the apply button. Switch to the layer preview tab and select Topical and Estates layer. In this example, we have filtered the states that intersect a certain bounding box and also have a population between 3 million and 5 million. Press the Save button. Arithmetic Operators Arithmetic Operators enable you to create customized visualization using mathematical equations and expressions. This allows you to effectively communicate your data through maps. You can use operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division for this purpose. For example, you can use arithmetic operators to create a proportional symbol map where the size of point symbols is based on a numeric attribute value. By dividing the attribute value by a constant factor, you can control the size of the symbols accordingly. Here is an example of how to use this operator in your server styling. Click on Add a new style link, then enter arithmetic underline div in the name field. Select Talicon from the list of default styles, then click the Generate link. Now edit the codes as you see on the screen. In this example, we have defined two rules. The first rule is to display the simple polygons representing the states, while the second rule is to create circular symbols based on the population of each state. We use the centroid function to assign a symbol to each state and place it exactly in the center of each polygon. In addition, we divided the person's attribute by 1 million to ensure a proportional representation of the simple size to a polygons. If you're interested in mastering SLD concepts and easily creating attractive map styles, check out this playlist full of practical tips and guides. Press the validate button to check if you have misspelled anything. When it returns no errors, press the apply button. Switch to the publishing section and click on the states flag to make this style the default for this layer. Press the save button. Navigate to the layer preview section and open up the open layers preview for the top colon states layer. Your map should now look as shown on the screen. As you can see in this example, we have scaled the point size based on the person's attribute. This makes the symbol larger for larger population values like California, New York, and Texas, and the symbol smaller for smaller population values like Wyoming. 
In this session, we examine the various filters available in Java server styles in detail. If you would like to gain proficiency in Java server software from beginner to advanced levels without any cost, please subscribe to my channel, watch some videos, and share them with your friends. Also, if you'd like to know more information about the combining multiple operators, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!